Hi folks, this is Jonathan Bowen with Jonathan Bowen Real Estate LLC. This is, uh, uh, excuse me, you can reach me at the office at 855-879-4663. Again, 855-879-4663. Or on the web at www.bowenboston.com. And that's www.bowenboston.com. All right, this is uh, 222 Walnut Street in Braintree. This is a, uh, I'd call it a four bedroom, three full bath, uh, single family. It's been completely uh, rehabilitated. I think they even put on, I don't know, I can't tell you this for sure, but I, it looks like they put on the second and third levels here. I guess it's technically a two and a half story house per zoning code, but uh, we'll get in, that's, that's another story for another day. Uh, you can see that there are a lot of ranches on this side of the street over here, and that's what I think that uh, the current owner of this property did. Uh, it, the house was originally built in 1959. So, uh, all right, so this is the street here. Um, all right, it's turning out to be a beautiful day here. And you can see a bunch of uh, capes on the other side of the street here, capes and ranches. So this is really one of the only colonials on the street. But, uh, you know, uh, we'll, we'll take a look and see what we have. All right, this house is a slab, so that means that there's uh, no basement here. Um, you know, it just means that there's less storage. Uh, it's difficult to put hardwood floors on a slab uh, foundation, so they didn't do it here on the first floor. They put tile and they put some carpeting in the other rooms as well. So when you walk in, you walk right into the uh, dining and uh, kitchen area. Nice kitchen. Uh, did a really nice job. Uh, stainless steel appliances, uh, some uh, some Frigidaire appliances here, uh, GE. He's got actually got a mishmash of appliances here, which is fine. No big deal. Uh, he, there's no refrigerator here. Um, which leads me to believe that he's not going to install a refrigerator. These are um, granite countertops, okay? Um, all right, so we're going to walk. Well, this was uh, a, a breezeway here. That's the front door to the driveway, and this is the rear door to the backyard here, okay? Uh, this was a garage that, he, uh, that uh, probably one of the prior owners built. He decided to turn this uh, into a living area, which I can understand because there's not a lot of extra living area on the first floor. So uh, he did a he did a nice job with the use of space here. Okay, and then they have a little uh, little uh, sun porch out here as well, a, a slider to a sun porch. All right, uh, so we're gonna keep on walking because I don't want to take forever on this thing. Uh, you got a little uh, extra storage here in this uh, in this. Uh, um, closet. We've got some cl extra closet space, a little pantry in the kitchen here. We've got, got another closet here uh, for uh, coats or whatever you know you might want to put in there. Uh, and then we're going to look uh, on the front right hand side of the house. Uh, as you're looking at it from the street, this would be a bedroom here, technically a bedroom, because it's got the closet space and all that stuff. So, all right. Uh, we're going to continue to keep on walking here because I don't want to take forever. I usually am long-winded when I do these things. So, uh, all right, so you get your utility room here. There's your gas hookup for the dryer. There's your washer hookup. Here's your little uh, sink here. Here's your forced hot air heating system. Everything's brand new, okay? State-of-the-art ream uh, hot water, uh, well, I guess hot water tank, I guess. Uh, here's your 200 amp electrical, okay? So everything's really done well, okay? All right, so we're gonna walk into the first floor bathroom here, full bath, okay? Um, nice fixture there. Here's the toilet. Here is your new uh, uh, tub, okay? All right, so we've done the first floor. Let's head upstairs. This is the only part that has any hardwood floor is the uh, stairs up to the second floor and uh, on the on the, uh, uh, in the hallway in the, in the uh, second floor. So here's your master. All right, good size master, definitely. Uh, really good size master. Uh, it's got a master bath as well with the stand-up shower, walk-in closet, uh, no, um, no, uh, in the walk-in closet here, there are no, uh, what am I trying to say? Shelves, but I'm hoping that the, uh, developer will put those in. They usually do. So, all right. So here's your sink area. Here's your shower area. Okay. Nice job. Toilet. Uh, a little closet space here, you know, linen closet or stuff that you're going to need. 
And then we're gonna walk into the other bathroom here, the main bathroom on the second floor. Nice big vanity. This has a lot of closet space in it as well. You got a uh, toilet and a, um, another bathtub. You know, tons of closets. They have two big closets in here. All right. One there on this side of the bathroom. I hate showing closets. Who the hell wants to see closets? But, you know, people want to see them. So, and another uh, linen closet out here as well, okay? Um, it's like real estate agents pointing out windows. Oh, it's a window. Great. What did I learn there? Nothing. <laughs> All right. Anyway, that's, I've seen some real estate agents just to do some stupid stuff. And I'm falling into that trap right now. Uh, all right, so that was the rear bedroom on the left-hand side as you were looking at it for the, if you were looking at the house from the street, and this is the front left-hand side. Good-sized bedrooms, okay? Uh, nice closet space. All the rooms have, uh, seem to have uh, cable hookup, you know, so that's good. All right, so let's look up, t let's walk up, t walk upstairs here, and this is an unfinished, well, technically they call it for zone, and they call it two and a half stories. But really, it's three stories. Everybody knows that. Uh, it's just unfinished. At some point, somebody could really finish this off and make it a nice space for either a kid's room or another bedroom. Well, you technically can't put bedrooms up here, blah, 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 blah. But wink, wink, wink. Everybody does it. So, um, um, so you can do whatever you want up here, really. You know, nice big open space here. It's not insulated right now, but hopefully the developer will insulate this. You know, you got some framed out, you know, eaves over there. So anyway, this is a good little property. I got to tell you, a guy did a nice job with what he had to work with. Um, I like it. It's got a nice little backyard. Actually, let's take a look at the backyard from the bathroom here. Okay. So there's that little three season porch you were talking about, a uh, little storage shed, and there's your next door neighbors back there. All right, so, you know, maybe take those trees down, I guess, if you want a nice, fun backyard for some kids. Uh, and that's really it. That's the whole shooting match, all right? Um, yes, some buyers have problems with not having basements, but I don't think it's such a big deal. Uh, so this is it. This is 220, uh, excuse me, 222 Walnut Street in Braintree. A complete uh, rehabilitation of a probably a single family ranch, I would say. Uh, and it's a really beautiful day. Look at how fast those clouds are moving. I, I don't know if you can tell from here. But anyway, uh, this is uh, Jonathan Bowen with uh, Jonathan Bowen Real Estate, LLC. You can call me at the office at 855 eight seven nine four six six three again eight five five eight seven nine four six six three or on the web at www.bowenboston.com and that's www.bowenboston.com all right thanks so much for uh, taking the time take care cheers